One good piece of news is Amazon keeps releasing all kinds of new data, which means a lot of the external tools like Helium 10 now have a more accurate source to grab search term queries and how much search volume are behind them. But how accurate are they? My name is Stephen Pope and I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. In this video, I'm gonna compare the search query performance. This is in beta and was recently just re uh, came out. And you can see all kinds of data for how popular a search term is, the actual search volume per week or per month and then let's compare that against, say, Helium 10. In the past, we've had brand analytics, which gives us some general idea of which items have the most search volume overall and which ASINs clicked on the most. But this wasn't really that actionable of a data set. It wasn't specific to a brand. It wasn't specific to the search terms that you care about. Brand Analytics then came out with the search query performance, which shows us a lot of really cool search query data, where you rank, what your search volume is, as well as your funnel impression share, your search con uh, click share, and the actual cart ads and sales. Lots and lots of actionable data. All right, so let's go over to a report. We went ahead and just compared what the search, search query was saying out of Amazon and compared it to Helium 10. Now, I am a Helium 10 fanboy, and this data also switches week to week. And so uh, we don't know how Helium 10 pulls its data. It's possible that the, the data in Helium 10 is completely accurate. It's just dated. But when we look at this, here is some actual data and what the delta is between them. So with a term like alpha lipoic acid, if that's how you say that, 40,000 search volume according to Amazon directly, Helium 10 at 41,650. That's not bad, only a 3% difference. A little bit different on the next one with cholesterol lowering supplements. Search query data says 2,800, Helium 10 had it at a whopping 9,900. So you can see the delta on the right here, 3% on the first one, 249% on the second one. Cholesterol, 24% difference. Cholesterol test kit, 7% difference. So when we look at the data, there's a lot of um, delta differences, both up and down uh, as we go back and forth. And so search queries are a moving target and the data does go up and down. And we know Helium 10 does update it and shows us uh, what, when things are up and down. Here's the actual data set. This, this is specifically in Magnet. When you wanna look up a keyword uh, that is specific, uh, you wanna know more about the keyword itself, use Magnet. If you wanna know more about an ASIN, use Cerebro. You can see all the different tools that Helium 10s came out with. We have Cerebro favorited because we use it every day. All right, so in here, when you look at the search volume, you can see 9,900, go back to the uh, data sheet we built, and you can clearly see 2,800 is the accurate data for the past uh, week or so. We can see the trend, and you can see here uh, they've had it at a, a spike, you know, coming out into the new year here uh, and spiking upward. However, uh, Amazon, <clears throat> his actual data shows that the trend is back down here at the 2,200. So it's possible that Helium 10 is using an estimate. We don't really know how they calculate the keyword volume, um, but that gives you an idea of, of how differentiating between what the actual data is and what Helium 10 is suggesting it is. So what does this mean for you as a brand is you wanna be using the search query performance when you're taking action on specific keywords. When we talk about um, strike zone keywords, these are keywords that are in position rank number 20 through 50. So if I was gonna start my SEO phase three, there's a couple ways I could go about doing it. I could start in Cerebro. This is how we've historically done it. Go to the organic rank section right here and filter in rank 20 through 50, hit apply filters, and boom, I've got 213 keywords on this particular ASIN that are in the strike zone. That is rank 20 through 50. And if I put a little bit of effort behind them, I can get them to rank one through 10. Now running the report through Cerebro is a valid way to do this. But now inside of the switch curry performance, we may uh, look at it a little bit more from a macro standpoint and go from the brand as a whole versus the ASIN. 
And in, in the search query performance, I could say, hey, I really need to be ranking for gifts for mom. I'm in rank number one. Search query uh, shows a search volume of 13,000. That's, that's a very good keyword to be rank one for my brand. And the amount of impressions are absurdly high. There's a lot of brands here. My market share is under half a percentage point. So now the question is, um, how much... And by the way, that when I said rank one, I didn't mean SEO rank one. Um, so this doesn't, this isn't going to show you your keyword rankings. It's just going to show you the most important keyword for your brand. And so if we were to extrapolate from here and say, Hey, we know that gifts your mom is the most important keyword for the brand, not because of my SEO rank. So I can't run, um, a ranking performance report for that particular keyword inside of Amazon. But what I can do is extrapolate and know that I really need to focus on this keyword. So this data kind of trumps uh, the micro data that we get inside of Cerebro. You want to go macro to figure out what's best for your brand. Now, now the question though is, if you have this macro data, how do you take it down to the micro? How do you decide which product I'm going to go for gifts for mom on? And at that point, what may make sense is to go look and see which product we have the highest performance for on gifts for mom, and then use uh, Cerebro to backfill it and figure out, okay, what's my current ranking? And take all of these keywords and just add them to your keyword tracker. So inside of the Helium 10, you have keyword trackers right here. And then you could decide, okay, I'm going to track all of these important keywords. Just going to just export them all because they're super important keywords for your brand. And when you track them inside of um, the keyword tracker inside of Helium 10, you will then also gain your keyword rankings and then extrapolate very quickly, hey, I'm going to go from rank 20 through 50 on some of these really important keywords, and they're going to be the most important keywords I work on this quarter, and I'm going to try and push those up to rank 1 through 10. So this is going to be how we're going to change the SEO strategy moving forward, is we're going to know which keywords are the most important for the brand currently. Now, the word currently is a keyword here, no pun intended, because what Cerebro will show you that the brand analytics search query performance won't is what keywords could potentially become important, right? And so these are words in the strike zone. We could sort this by search volume. And we know that sage candles for cleaning a house is the highest search volume term. And I'm in rank 24 for it for this particular ASIN. And I know that that's going to be the one I need to focus on because it's not important as much to my brand today, but it will become important because of the search volume and how many people are searching for it. You know, what's interesting, though, I think about Sage in general is it might be a little bit seasonal in the winter. People aren't cleansing their houses in the spring and you see the search volume trend going down there. So you can get some ideas for when things are up and down or how they're handling themselves. Here's my actual Sage product here. You can see all the things that we've done to optimize it. Fairly recent product. I think we launched it late fall. We've already got almost 500 reviews. And we build out all of our brand story. Most people still don't have their brand story module built yet. And I think you're crazy. You got to go get this done. Really, really important thing to get done. See how much stuff you can put in there. I can actually link to other products. Scroll down further. Here's the actual A plus content. Big image, lots of text. Big image, lots of text. And I repeat that. Finally, a product module. Keep 500 words of text in your A plus content because it totally does index. Fill out 100 characters per photo because it totally does index. And if you don't believe me, you haven't paid attention to my 1,000 videos on my channel where I repeatedly say this. Test it yourself. Put Spanish behind a photo. It will index in under 48 hours. You can prove it using Cerebro. So that's my video on Switch Curry versus Helium 10. Lots of actionable data coming out. You can see the delta and the differences between the tools. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And if you haven't checked out the Switch Curry performance, we'll put a link in the top of the comment section as well as the description. You're definitely going to want to check this out. My name is Stephen Pope, and I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy.